Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's nice to be here uh, again at uh, Le Web. Uh, we are going to share today some observations about business models, the truth of the business models on the internet, and uh, a little bit of what we didn't learn from the last, uh, the last bubble. First, rule number one, time is everything. And uh, this, uh, this uh, slide can... Uh, give you the idea when you are coming with a project or you do something, timing is very important. I'll give you one advice, never accept a talking assign assignment in Paris at 9.05. Second thing, the virtual e economy is thriving. And here you can see another business model of creating a virtual good for profit and fun. Location-based services are very important, as all of you know. This is a cemetery in Israel. You see the grave of the most popular uh, lyric writer, and uh, we have here a local-based uh, local service. You can put uh, one dollar, and here one of the most popular, uh, popular songs. Uh, some of you may remember my talk from a few years ago about a special uh, ISP for the dead people, and this is another aspect of, uh, of this service of Internet for Dead People. And just to remind you that people are very good from customer support point of view. They never complain. It's a growing community. Everyone knows a dead man, and uh, you need a very little uh, bandwidth, just to repeat. Analytic-driven offerings are very important. All of you are familiar with the A and B. Testing, you have to create two alternatives and to test them. This gentleman found that by providing some free giveaways, he can increase his business. This uh, principle can be employed in other internet services. Uh, contextual advertisement is very important. This is the way to make a relevant uh, advertising. You can see here a screen which was taken from uh, YouTube, this uh, is a video about creating chopped liver, and you can see that uh, the algorithm understands that chopped is cutting liver, and it immediately suggested a new liver uh, treatment. And chopped liver, in my ethnic background, is very important because uh, we know how to take every substance and turn it to chopped liver. Communications are very important space as well. Uh, what happened here? Okay, we'll come to it. Crowdsourcing, these are uh, two slides from my last year talk. This is the magic of uh, collaborative filtering. You can see that uh, you are familiar with Amazon. Those who bought this also bought uh, the other one, and you can see that uh, the buyers of these video cameras also bought some other devices, other things you can see at the bottom of the slide. This is another aspect of, uh, another example of uh, crowdsourcing from uh, Wikipedia. Uh, the country of Mali, a landlocked country in Western Africa that is known for horrible football referees. And uh, you have to protect your intellectual property that uh, everybody of you is aware of. And this is uh, a patent which was written in Australia about 10 years ago by some lawyer who patented uh, the wheel. So you guys who are uh, using wheels, be aware that you may infringe of, on this uh, patent. Another model, of course, is the viral distribution. Do traction, stickiness, mind share, conversion rate, viral distribution, land grab, jump start, critical mass, network effect have real value, or are they just smoke screen to no revenue, no profit, no cash flow? What is the cost of acquiring user in a conventional way compared to viral marketing? Uh, this is an example from my uh, own experience. These are the, like the first... Uh, three years of ICQ, you may remember ICQ, it was the first uh, internet-wide instant messaging. We got uh, like uh, to 100 million users, which was, were at that time big part of the internet in 
few years, we created quite a bit of value. And uh, now we are going to talk about what we didn't learn from the last bubble. Each one, who thinks that we are in a bubble right now? Raise your hand. Who thinks we are not in bubble now? Raise your hand. Who doesn't think? <laughs> so we have about 5% of people who think that we are in a bubble, 10% who think we are not in a bubble, and 85% who don't understand my accent. <laughs> OK, we are celebrating in Israel. We celebrate every year on the 10th of March, the annual bubble birthday. And this is an example from a few years ago. And for some of us, bubble was uh, very good. This is a graph which I try to explain why a bubble uh, existing. You may uh, look at it on the internet. I have uh, only four minutes left, so I cannot go into it. But the basic thing that for bubble to occur, to, to occur you need a very compelling uh, explanation why this time it's different from all the previous times as this time. So. It's not a bubble, now we have uh, another new explanation. And uh, by the way, this is uh, after the Gartner uh, hype curve. So you can see the curiosity, contingent, enthusiasm, new era, complacency, arrogance, stupidity, etc., etc., etc. Those of you who didn't take this roller coaster ride, I guarantee you will take it because nobody is willing to learn from the experience of other people. <laughs> you have to do your own, your own uh, experience. And this is, of course, the dot-com model. Create a concept, register a domain, e.g. needmoney.com. Be creative in the valuation technique. Be creative, create an impressive, impressive business plan. Employ CRFE, which is very important. CRFE is creative reverse, reverse financial engineering. You start with the results and you build the data backwards. <laughs> you raise venture capital, you wait a while, you go public, you spend the proceeds on acquiring traffic because now you have money but you have no traffic. You pray, I think I have a spelling mistake but I'm not sure. You create a business model. You always create the business model after you raise the money. It will be a big mistake to create a business model before you raise the money. You use the hockey stick model. You know what is the hockey stick model. The hockey stick model say we are here, but it's going to be like this. <laughs> and you raise another venture capital. So that's the model. Now what's going on here? Yeah, the tree of human ingenuity when the urge to raise funds meet the availability of spreadsheet and PowerPoint, unimagined creative forces embedded in human beings will be unleashed. Then the creative business model. The internet is a modern, modern day Robin Hood. It is meant to take money from the wealthy and redistribute it to the masses via free services. Revenue is destruction. It is much easier to develop a compelling explanation why revenue is not important than to develop real revenue. Don't forget it. And the uh, business plan, if your VC is not happy with the business plan, you always can come with another business plan. And uh, how you sell the business plan? How you sell the intangibles? When in doubt, exaggerate. When the arguments are weak, raise your voice. When the arguments are weak, make a lot of gesture with your hands. When you don't have the foggiest idea what you are talking about, nominate an impressive advisory board. Enter drama. Remember Cecil B. DeMille formula for making a great movie. You start with an earthquake, and then you build it gradually towards the crescendo. This way, you can sell your business model. Uh, the, bubbleware, the Bubbleware platform, Essential Gears, Spreadsheet, PowerPoint, Overhead Projectors, which are not being used anymore. They are now uh, these uh, projectors. Our Bubbleware best friend, they are best platform to run dreams on. Power corrupt, PowerPoint corrupt, absolutely. <laughs> Don't forget it. If you cannot confuse, uh, convince them, confuse them. Business planology. 
Business plans are the packaging material for dreams. Paper is tolerant. It's easier to create business plan than to create a business. Remember that. The limiting factor to business plan are imagination, chutzpah, creativity, and paper. Business plan have invented in order to demonstrate the fantastic sense of humor of the writer. So these are the value of business plan. And memory is short. This is a picture which shows you the purchasing of fractional airplane, which was very popular in the 90s. You see that it peaked around March 2000 when the bubble was at its peaks. It's dived down at 201, but sure enough, it grew again in 2002, almost to the famous level. Uh, just to remind you, the, Dow, the Nasdaq was in March 2000 in the first peak about 5,000. In the second peak, it was a little bit over 1,000. Now, that's amazing graph. Please look, of, uh, look at it. This is how the Dow Jones behaved in 29, and, now, uh, and how Nasdaq they behaved in 2000. Do you see a similarity? <laughs> Showed you that nobody learned from experience. And the solution, as I suggested before, if the business is going down, you always can create more press releases, which means that the industry which will flourish at time of the bubble burst is the PR and press releases. These are the number of press releases per, per billion dollars raised in the telecom and in the internet at the former bubble. The harder they fall, the <laughs> bigger the report. You can see the size of the 10K of number of companies. Those who, went 40, uh, who maintained 48% of the value after the bubble had reports of under 300K bytes. Those who Maintain only 37%, like the, 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 the 100 Mary Lynch. The report was between 300 and 500. You came to drag me out. I have another two, two, two minutes and 23 seconds. Go away. <laughs> Leave me alone. This is actually two minutes and 30 seconds over. Ah, really? Yes. This is, okay, so I will end here. This is the VC model, and you have to find the entrepreneur in this picture. <laughs> I have another 27 uh, slides, but Go this... Ahead. Let's, let's do 27 in 27 seconds. This, okay. this one. This is the, the golden rush in uh, Sierra Pelada in Brazil in the year 1986. It's a true picture. And you can or cannot make analog to what you see today in the internet. This is a very this is this a, is a self, self explanatory <laughs> slide. And this is what this, this is, is the last long. one. This is too long. This is too long. <laughs> <laughs> and no, this is too short. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. Thank you, Yossi. <laughs> uh, Yossi. Uh, Hey, Yossi, can you hear me? Yossi, Yossi, can you hear the room? Come <laughs> can you hear her? You know, you think, you think you're alone today? They love you. Good. We love you, Yossi. Don't forget to come next year to the web because, because this <laughs> conference is fantastic. <laughs> Who thinks this conference is fantastic? Raise your voice. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. Wow, that's, uh, I love starting with Yossi. He hates it, starting this, at this hour, but I, I just love it.